In this video I will show you how to create this demo of the GSEP scroll trigger in an Angular 17 project. The project consists of this GSEP graphic that moves in from the left. It changes opacity when the page is scrolled down. And this subscribe button that rolls in from the right. These animations are tied to the scroll position of the page and will reverse if we scroll back up. We start by creating an Angular app using the CLI and adding two vector graphics to the assets folder. The links for the graphics I used in the GitHub repository of the final project are in the description. I then open the HTML, the SCSS and the TS file from the app folder and I remove the example code from the HTML file. After that I create three divs with different colors. I add the GSAP image to the middle diff and the subscribe image to the bottom diff. The top diff is only here so we can see the initial state of the page. The images are far too big right now, so let's change them to 100 by 100 pixel. The bottom diff gets flex boxes justify content flex end so the subscribe image starts on the right side. For now we will leave the position of the images and switch to the terminal. Here we install GSAP using npm install GSAP. Once GSAP is installed open the app.component.ts file. Here we import GSAP, GSAP scroll trigger and we implement the after view init lifecycle hook. In after view init we register GSAP's scroll trigger. Then we add a simple animation. When we save we can see that the animation is working. But we are getting an error on the server side. To prevent this error we inject the platform ID and we check if the platform is the browser before we add animations. Once we do this the error message disappears. As the next step we modify the scale, the Y position and the opacity of the GSAP logo. When we test the animation we can see that the scale and the Y position are changing. The opacity actually starts at 1. We can change it to 0 in the SCSS file. Now the opacity changes during the animation. To make the development of scroll animations easier we can add markers true. Now we can see that the animation starts once scroll start passes start. I will copy what we have for the GSAP logo to get the subscribe graphic started. Instead of the GSAP logo class we need to use the sub logo class. Additionally we need to change the x value to negative 52 and we can remove the opacity 1. To get the subscribe logo to rotate we add rotate360. Right now both logos start inside the view area. But we want them to come in from outside the view area. To achieve this we can use position absolute to move them just outside the visible area. If we test the animations now we can see them flying in from outside the view area. The last thing that is missing is tying the animations to the scroll position. For that we just add scrub1 to both scroll triggers. I forgot to set the end property so I'm doing that now. Happy coding!